Before mixed martial arts, I was playing a really high-level competitive league of football. And, uh, you know, I was just looking for a more individual sport. I, a few few things happened that left a bad taste in my mouth, and I uh, wanted to stop relying on other people and find something more individual where the outcome was more on me rather than having to rely on a team. So uh, I went out to Impact MMA. I met John Punt. I went one time, and, you know, he's just, you know, you have to come back, you have to come back. And since then, I've just kept going, never stopped, and I've just totally fallen in love with the sport. He was a career uh, fighter right from day one. Um, I could see it in his training, I could see it in, in his discipline, in his dedication. He had all the physical tools and the mental tools that you need to uh, succeed in this sport. I train with a lot of you know guys around the island here that are top notch and all competitors in their own weight class, and they're you know helping me to get better and and you know show up to fight and get ready. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm definitely hungry. I I feel like I'm you know a top level guy here in British Columbia, Canada, if not, you know, in mixed martial arts. Um, I've definitely been, you know, up in my training. So far I've had, you know, quite a lot of success doing what I do, but I'm always looking to add, you know, new things into my game. I always show up, you know, a little bit of a different fighter every fight because, you know, I'm still growing and getting better. I still make mistakes and, you know, I try to weed those mistakes out every day when I, you know, step into the ring and try and train. There's no rest for the wicked. You know, you want to be a fighter, you got to train all the time. I'm always running stairs, hitting sledgehammer, banging the tire, lifting, chucking, lugging. I mean, I'm a full-time fighter, I'm a full-time father, you know, and I'm a full-time worker. It's huge when you walk out and the crowd just blows up. I mean, with having the king of the cages here in town and having AFC now, being able to fight kind of in your own backyard, for some people, there's extra added pressure. For me, there's just extra added incentive. Like, my whole family's there, all my friends are there. I mean, nothing jacks you up more that people hear your music, they know you're coming, and they're all kind of, you know, you hear the murmurs, and then you come to that cage, or you come to that cape, and uh, they just blow up and start screaming and yelling, and I mean, that just takes, it takes your confidence through the roof, but it just gets you so pumped. I'll fight anybody. I mean, I'll fight anybody and everybody. I just love to fight. I want to go all the way with the sport for sure. I don't want to get to UFC and have my two fights and that be it for me. You know, I want to have some tough fighters, some tough opponents to kind of, you know, toughen me up like a piece of leather so that when I get to that, you know, to that UFC, I'm a piece of, you know, a big tough piece of meat. I want to be as hard as rock when I get there. I want to come out of Canada and just take the world by storm, you know, and let everybody know that, you know, Canada is a legit country for MMA and we've got some badass dudes here.